welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to demonstrate Relic Waves from the same developer of Soundvox or Fractal Bits. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Additionally, if you would like to participate to the giveaway and own a copy of uh, Relic Waves, then please do follow the instruction contained in the video description. Thank you again. So Relic Waves, it borrows, as you can see, as an interface from Fractal Bits, but um, and it does the same in terms of the uh, synth framework. It is running here in standalone mode because it is easier. I have more screen that I can show you. I hope you enjoyed the introduction because the sound and the effects have been created using Relic Waves. And Relic Waves is quite good at creating lo-fi pads, effects, atmospheric sounds, so it's really nice. Now, you can see here you have a number of um, uh, boxes and if you with different patterns and uh, if you click on one of them, you have the sound and you should be able to recognize some of the sounds that I actually used um, as well in the introductory demonstration. On the right hand side you have some of the controls so it is really straightforward uh, to actually use. It uses algorithms from Night Radio okay and you can go and explore four billion type of different samples and sounds okay so you can adjust the volume here at the moment i have it mapped, mapped it against a midi controller and if you want to know how to do that click here where it says it shows the three dots then go to midi input and you can see i'm using an external keyboard but you can use something else so you can choose the channel and you can use also a bluetooth device you can adjust the volume you can transpose up and down and I was doing that when I recorded the introductory demo to change the effect. You can act on the stereo effect. You can change the reverb. More or less. You can have echo on. And then you can adjust the envelope as well. So it takes longer and you have a, a longer attack, a longer release. And uh, each of these boxes are mapped against the, the uh, keyboard at the moment is an octave. So I start from a low C. Then I can go up. And of course, they are also repeated. Now, if you want to generate new sounds, you have these uh, arrow pointing to the right, click on it, and it will generate a new set, of course. And okay, that is dependent by the fact that uh, these different samples are locked or not locked. Here you see an option here, which says LCK for lock. At the moment, they are all locked. That is why none of them are changing. So you can click on them and so that you can release the lock. Of course, if they're locked, they will not be randomized. And then click again on the lock button to exit there. So now if I click on the right um, arrows here, they will get all randomized. <laughs> And of course, I can uh, go ahead and have generate another sample uh, of uh, sound. I can go also to the previous one like that. Really nice. You can click on the record button. You can record your performance. And when you click on it, it stops and then it gives you the option to save, do a Wi-Fi export and also use audio copy, which then you can paste inside another application that supports it. Again, click outside to stop that process. So it's very simple to use and the recording option is what I used to record the sounds for the introductory demonstration. Again, if you click on the three dots, you, you can load your set, save them, save them with the different name, create a new one, reset all the parameters. You can export or import them. You can decide also if to have three octave like so. You say you have three octaves. 
And this can be useful if you don't have, for example, a, an external MIDI controller and you're just using your fingers on the iPad. But I like to have it in one octave. You can decide what MIDI input you can choose, of course. Then you can do also MIDI mapping, which is absolutely great. I think it's quite self-explanatory, so I'm not going to go through a tutorial for it. And then you can do system setting as well. You can change them as well for the interface and for the audio as well. And then of course, here at the bottom, you have some a link to info and help. And the end in itself, that's it. That is very simple. Um, but um, it's quite powerful because you can use it to generate all those different effects, pad and atmospheric sounds that you might want to use. For example, you can export directly into Sunvox, which is amazing. And of course, if you know Sunvox and you know how to use it, I started a series tutorial. Please do check it out if you haven't tried it yet. Okay, I'm going to stop here. I know it's a short overview, but it is actually straightforward to use. Thank you very much. Bye.